The break-even formula is one of the most familiar formulas from business analysis. To calculate the quantity required to break even, you divide the fixed costs by the revenue per unit minus the variable cost per unit. Now wait, one thing to remember is you don't always use the break-even formula to figure out how much you need to produce to break even. As strange as that sounds, Happy Pet Vet Clinic is a good example of a case where you use it essentially for something else. Oh, all right, now let's take a look at the problem. Happy Pets Vet Clinic is considering renting a self-contained blood analysis machine for $500 a month. Okay, that's interesting. Which would also require it to purchase cartridges required for blood testing at $45 each. Happy Pets Vet Clinic treats and no wait a minute Happy Pets Vet Clinic treats an average of 20 dogs or cats a month requiring blood tests so that right there is a quantity but all right never mind Happy Pets is currently sending these blood samples away for testing oh all right so that's why it's considering this other way of doing it what is the minimum that Happy Pets Vet Clinic can charge its customers for blood tests to break even on the rental of a self-contained blood analysis machine. Ah, well, break even, at least that I know from memory. The quantity required to break even is the fixed cost, just like I quoted before, fixed cost, that's an F, divided by the revenue per unit minus the variable cost. Um, oh, and in this problem here, I think, you know, I already see a bunch of these parameters. This business about an option where they could rent it for $500 a month, the $500 rental, that's a classic example of a fixed cost. What you're looking for in any fixed cost is a cost that will be paid regardless of how much you make use of what you're renting or purchasing. And if they rent the machine, it doesn't matter whether they do one blood sample test or a thousand, they still pay $500 a month. Okay, well, so actually, if we were to fill out this formula, we found the numerator, that's 500. Oh, the machine requires cartridges that cost $45, and the operative word there is each. Classic variable cost. If they do one blood sample test, they'll burn up one cartridge. That's $45. If they do a hundred, 45 times a hundred, uh, okay, that cost varies with their use. Now, it looks like we're closing in on just filling out this formula the way that we usually do. We run across, right, and that's what kind of tripped me up there for a moment. We run across then an amount. It says that they currently treat 20 dogs or cats that require tests. Oh, their current, their current volume is 20 per month in terms of these blood analyses. Um, wait, their current volume, how much? That's a Q, it's Q for quantity. You might, you, we could say, just so that we don't confuse it with QBE here, it's Q actual, their actual quantity is 20 a month. Um, all right, don't usually have that part of the formula, but what is it asking? How much should they charge their customers? It's asking for R. And sometimes this is what break-even analysis is used for to scope out what the minimum price would have to be if we're thinking about offering something in order to cover our costs. Oh, really what we have here is we want this expression to be true, meaning we broke even, given that these are the parameters. Oh, we just fill in those numbers. Their actual quantity is 20. We'd like this to be true, which means that we reach that 20 would be the natural result of 500 divided by the revenue per unit is what we don't know. But we do know the variable cost, 45. Oh, okay, we have one unknown. Now we have the means of figuring out what that revenue per unit would have to be, what they would have to charge per blood test or analysis. 
Uh, now all we need to do is just a little bit of algebra. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to multiply both sides by r minus 45. Over here, I'll get 20r minus, let's see, 20 times 45 is 900. And why did I do that? Because it was annoying me over there in the denominator, and over on here now it cancels out. Uh, oh, and then I can consolidate these two terms. So 20r equals, I'm going to add 900 to both sides, disappears from here, crops up over here, it's 1400. So the minimum amount that they need to charge their customers in order to break even on rental is 1400 divided by 20, which is 70. Oh, they should charge a minimum of $70 to break even. That's what we just found out. If they're renting the machine $500 a month, their variable costs are $45 a test, and assuming that their general traffic of an average of 20 tests or analyses are needed per month, then they need to charge at least $70 to cover their costs.